How's it going there folks? I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs and this is the video review of TV English Premium for iPad. Now this has immediately jumped to number one on the top charts and if I could bet this will be gone tomorrow. It will no longer be available because technically it is just an illegal broadcast of a bunch of television stations. So I'm going to say that tomorrow morning people are going to walk into Apple headquarters and they're going to say holy crap and they're going to pull that down very very early in the morning. So tonight if you want it is probably the time to get it. I would not wait. However, what TV English Premium allows you to do is stream a bunch of television networks and not even just free ones like actual paid premium networks like Comedy Central and uh, Disney XD and Animal Planet uh, all for free. Well, for 99 cents, which is the price of the app. Now, there have been mixed results. I bought this late last night and it was working excellently. This was before people really found out about it. Since then, it's jumped up all the way to number one on the top chart. So a lot of people are having problems with this because there are literally hundreds of thousands of people trying to watch these. And I would bet that this is just one guy in his basement with 15 PCs that just have cable cards and he's rebroadcasting the streams online. Now, if you open the app, it's gonna say TV premium, it loads the channels, and I said before, there's about 40 channels, which is quite a bit. He is based in the UK, so they are mostly UK channels like BBC, uh, ITV, uh, Film 4, but if you scroll down to the very, very bottom, there are quite a few American channels like Animal Planet, Comedy Central, ESPN America, which is a really nice one, uh, Disney XD, MGM HD with Nat Geo. Uh, so you have a bunch of selections, but there are tons of movie channels, which by the way, are not free movie channels. Like Cinemax, that's... <laughs> That's a paid cable network, you know, channel. So these are totally, this is 100% illegal. Um, I wouldn't worry if I were you about getting caught. If anyone's going to get in trouble for doing this, it's going to be the guy who made the app. But what you can do is, let's say, 10 things I hate about you. You press that channel, and uh, it takes a couple seconds to buffer, and the movie will start playing. Now, it's like a television station, so it's not going to start from the beginning. There are commercials. It's basically a TV. Now, you do have the ability to pause the movie, which is kind of nice, but you can't rewind or fast forward, which is a little bit unfortunate. So rather than having full DVR functionality, it's just play and pause. Now, when you pause, it will it's not going to skip forward. It will allow you to start playing where uh, you pressed pause, even though the stream keeps going, you know, you're, you're just behind, you're not live but you don't have the ability to scrub forwards or backwards, which is kind of weird and something I wish they would have fixed. But as you can see, it's a movie here. It's in fantastically good quality. Most of the channels are pretty good. Some are better than others, but uh, the ones in HD are just phenomenally good. I don't even think this one's in HD, but if you go down to, uh, you know, like Disney XD HD or Comedy Central HD, they look really, really nice. Let's do MGM. On most of the American networks, they do make you watch this advertisement before, which is kind of annoying. All of the British channels seem to be just straight out of the shoot, but if you get one of these uh, American channels, it's gonna take A, a long time to buffer, and B, they usually display an advertisement. Uh, additionally, all of the American channels are so much more used and visited than the UK channels that the quality on these is not quite as good because there are so many people trying to consume it. And in fact, it even looks like the application is held up. So, you know, it's not perfect, it's far from it, but for 99 cents, you get 40 television channels. That's pretty good. There is one caveat to this though. This guy is most certainly going to get shut down because what he's doing is illegal. But let's say Apple says, no, you can't do this, get off the App Store, and that's the end of it. Well, this guy has two options because this is not an application. You're not like receiving this as a television signal from the television network. This is coming from this dude who's like a mediator. He's a middleman. So if he gets shut down, well, so does your application. So there are a couple of caveats to this, and you do have to be careful. You can jump into it and say, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take the risk, 99 cents, and uh, it'll work until he gets shut down. And maybe he'll never get shut down, in which case he'll continue to watch TV shows. But if he gets shut down tomorrow or if Apple pulls him off the App Store and he says, screw it, and pulls the plug on all of these, this is going to be completely worthless because this is just like a web wrapper to a live stream of the show. So TV Premium works really, really well right now. Whether it will continue to work well uh, remains to be determined. But for 99 cents, I don't think you can go wrong and you should pick it up. I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.